So I'm out here in Kachakama, in the Cedarburg, in the Western Cape, and I thought there would be no better place to give you my opinions and my thoughts on the Easy On 270 degree Batwing. It is a beast of an awning, and it really works like a charm. Not only is it impressive to set up for spectators, but it's impressive every single time I set it up. And I really appreciate the, the kind of ingenuity that went into designing it and the quality of the materials used to actually make it. Now, you guys know I have a relationship with Easy On, but no one asked me to make this video. This is purely me wanting to let you guys know about my experience using it and what I really think about it. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I've never used another 270 degree awning and I genuinely am so satisfied with this one I don't even care about other ones and I have no intention of trying them. But maybe in the future I'll get an opportunity to see them on other people's rigs and things like that when I'm out traveling. But for now, this baby is pretty much unbeatable in my books. Ease of setup, phenomenal. Coverage, Phenomenal. Sturdiness in wind, phenomenal. It really, it performs at the top of its class in all the categories. I mean, you can even take these legs up and drive around the campsite with the awning set up. So, <laughs> it's strong. It's really strong. And there's something about it that's just, Like, is it possible to love inanimate objects? I think so. <laughs> no, but seriously, it's, it is really good. So let's have a look at some of the kind of, you know, pros and cons of it. I would say in terms of cons, it's quite heavy, obviously because of the strength. I mean, this is all made in aluminium, so it's flexible enough to move in the wind and things like that when the wind does pick up. You know, it doesn't fight the wind too much. It lets it, the air move through. But it weighs in at around 20, 25 kilos, so it's not light. It's roughly the weight of the roof rack, and on a vehicle like the Jimny, that can be quite heavy. So that's why, if you do see in other videos, I use the Series 2000 awning. The Series 2000 awning has a bit of a smaller profile and it's a metal case and things like that. So it just takes up less space and it weighs less. So what you can see here is that the batwing actually comes out quite far in front of the roof rack. And it's quite a big case. So when you're climbing up to get stuff on the roof, it, it can get in the way. So I find that's where having the ladder on the back is easier to climb up and you know access stuff on the roof or the other side is fine. It's just that because it's this bulk kind of in the way of, of getting to the roof rack, that's something that I'd say can be a bit frustrating. Whether that's gonna change if you use a different awning, I don't think so. Awnings in general are gonna get in the way on that side of the vehicle. So I think that's just a general kind of point of concern for an awning. Something else that's really great with the 270 Batwing is that you can put it on other roof racks if you really want to. And, you know, it's interchangeable between different vehicles, things like that. So it is, it does end up being an investment. 
You can take it off your vehicle and you decide to get a new vehicle in the future, it just goes on. You don't have to buy a new awning, you don't have to buy a new, you know what I mean? So it's one of those things where you pay once, you get it, you've got it, it's worth it. It really is worth it. You only have to use it once or set it up once and you're like, oh, that was so cool. <laughs> but it's also like, it's just really simple. I mean, you undo the little knob, boom, pull back, leg deploy, done. Okay, tighten knob, locks it in place. Put it back. I don't know what magic and trickery they use to, to do that whole thing, but it works. <laughs> and it's consistent. And anyone can set it up. And anyone can break it down. All you need to do is be tall enough to <laughs> pull the thing over there, and you're fine. So it's a breeze. I could do this with a sore back. I could do this with a gamine leg. I could do this with whatever. It's, it doesn't put any strain on you whatsoever. So I'd say one of the perfect combinations with the 270 degree batwing is definitely something like a hard shell rooftop tent. Something like the Blade or the Stealth. Um, you know, they work incredibly well together because once you've got that rooftop set up, you pull this thing out and you've got that 270 degree shade, plus then you've got your ladder coming up the side. Whereas you'll see in my other build with the flip-flop tent, I don't use the 270 degree because the entrance and the other half of the rooftop tent goes over the back door. So there would be a conflict here. I'd say price-wise it's quite expensive, especially when you compare it to the simple like retractable awnings. But I would say where it becomes worth it is that in the ease of use of the 270, you use it more. Like, I'm prepared to stop on the side of the road and pull it out if it's, if it's really sunny and I'm going to make some lunch. Or, you know, you know what I mean, if I need to do some work on my laptop, I'm prepared to pull it out and do that. Whereas maybe with the, with the 2000, I'll just sit in my car and be cramped and uncomfortable. In comparison to how the 270 deploys, it's chalk and cheese. This is definitely, there's a very interesting um, version of the awning called the Swift, which is takes a similar concept of the of the batwing except it's a straight out the side awning so it can also hold itself also secure itself and it uses these same kind of pillars with the pole inside the arm so that's that's actually a very nice option if you're just looking for something sleek and simple on the side but again it does come in a bigger bag and it is a little bit heavier than a traditional pull out awning like the series 2000 but I must say, in the past year, with both the awnings, with the roof racks, everything, I've been super, super happy. They've really worked like a bomb and they've really been worth their weight in gold. And yeah, I mean, that's really all I can say. But if you'd like to see more of these little reviews or these little things where I look and talk about some of the equipment, let me know down below because it's something I'm considering doing and talking about some of the gear that's on my car and giving a bit more insight into how to operate it and kind of what I think about it. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you on the next adventure. Bye for now.